All right, I can't talk about this anymore. I've got to talk about the court sketches. I mean, the, here's the thing. Tom Brady is a really, really handsome man. And often when we see court sketches, they don't exactly look like the person, but, but this, this, that does not look like Tom Brady. That looks like, I, it looks like kind of an evil pre-Hulk with the hair coming. I mean, I, I know I'm going out on a limb, but I, a lot of people on social media are backing me up here. I haven't seen anybody who said it was flattering portrayal of Tom Brady. And look at the memes that it put. Here's the screen by Munk. Here's here he is as I E.T. Uh, Michael Jackson in Thriller. I mean, come on, John. Have you ever seen a courtroom sketch that's quite so, how do I put this nicely? Attention getting? Oh, absolutely. In this day and age of the internet and social media, this thing might actually be the most famous piece of art ever produced by an American. I mean, that thing was everywhere today and everyone was making fun of it and no one could believe how ridiculous Tom Brady looked. I mean, there were Game of Thrones memes, Walking Dead. Uh, it was <laughs> zombie, bloodthirsty Tom Brady coming after everyone. So, I mean, it was absolutely, it was fun to look at for a while. Uh, I don't feel bad for Tom Brady. Yeah, I got to tell off. you, he's so, he's so beautiful that um, having one ugly picture of him is not going to hurt him at all. You know who I feel bad for? The artist. In fact, Vice Sports spoke to the artist and she apologized. She said, tell Tom Brady, I'm sorry. He's a very good looking guy. And if I didn't make him look good enough, good enough <laughs> or good. How about just stop it? Good. I'll try harder next time. Bless her heart. This is Jane Rosen. Yeah, go ahead. Spence, it actually takes talent to not make Tom Brady look good. So <laughs> good for her. Uh, you know what? It, it, she is talented. If she signs that thing, it maybe could be auctioned off for a lot of money. And I don't know, by the uh, equipment managers who got fired for deflate gate. I don't know, a vacation or something. They're probably scratching the penny bank right now looking for some spare change in the sofa. John Breach, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. I mean, I just call a spade a spade, right? You know, it didn't look good. <laughs>